Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to some of the long dark. So we're still on the interloper series and honestly the last episode was a huge fail and I think I made a lot of mistakes. I think I completely did the wrong thing. What I should have done is literally just gone to the trapper's place, picked up the hide and gone and made the deerskin pants. But I mentioned about a bear, I wasted a few shots trying to get the bear, I wasted a few shots on the moose, however, the like little bits of clip that you're seeing now um, is me up. trying to do some stuff off camera. I do manage to hit the moose twice, um, he starts to charge at me and I stupidly completely miss the shot and I could have totally got him in a headshot um, but this place like just to the side of the trapper's cabin is a really good place to um, like hide or like use to shoot stuff um, so unfortunately I did not get the moose but I did shoot the moose twice um, I lost quite a few arrows but I do end up getting them back so I spent an hour just like trying to play this off camera, trying to get the bear and everything like that. I actually went through the cave just next to the trapper's place um, and I collected a bunch more coal. I also went pretty much into, um, oh what do you call it, mountain town and I collected the cat's tails out there which maybe wasn't such a good idea but I did it anyway because I wanted the coal and I needed some cat's tails especially if I wasn't able to catch the moose or anything so the bear kept coming around the moose was still there the moose was sort of like the thing that I wanted the most but I actually ended up trying to get the bear um, and I tried a few times missed a few times the weather started to get quite bad but then I actually managed to get the bear and I, um, I I was so shocked I literally had no words because as far as I am aware I had not hit the bear at all through trying to hit it I just hit the arrow close to him and he would run off like scared so I kind of I picked up the piece of meat uh, the last piece of deer meat that I had so he would like slowly start to walk towards me and the weather was quite bad so I really didn't hold out any hope for me being able to do this however I took a lucky shot and I actually got the bear in like one he started to like growl at me and I literally I because I when I go and pick up the arrow it's honestly not even a headshot it's not even a headshot it's like a neck shot but um yeah we got the bear and I quartered him and everything um and I harvested all of his meat and stuff like that I did some micro harvesting I think I should have done more micro harvesting than what I did um but I did micro harvest quite a few of the quartered pieces I probably should have just micro harvested it all but some of it I didn't I chose like um, one rather than 0 0.1 or whatever it was when you harvest but yeah so um, I've got a bear hide curing now we have so much bear meat my health and honestly was all of that stuff was doing quite bad but I think I've kind of brought it back a little bit now. We have so much, so much, so many guts curing as well. So yeah, I'm super, super pleased that we got a bear. I still would have really liked the moose, but alas, we did not get the moose. <laughs> so back to, or like we're on current time now. I am here, uh, we are playing. <laughs> So yeah, that stuff I was doing off camera. So we have the uh, black bear hide here. It's 9% cured. We have a bunch of guts over here. Guts here. We have a rabbit there. So I have picked up, um, what did I pick up? I've picked up the deer hide that we had here, the one guts and the rabbit that we had. I also have uh, three arrows, one arrow, another arrow. 
Um, I picked up the sewing kit. I would like to repair this at some point. We have two arrows. So I think that maybe we'll be able to craft some more uh, arrows. Arrow heads. No, sorry, not arrow heads. Craft some more arrows. My clothes are not the best. My rabbit hat is now 96% and my gloves are... Um, 95 which is not super great do i have a tin i don't think i have a tin on me i did harvest a arrow because it was at like 18 percent or something and i thought that really wasn't worth keeping or was it at 12 percent? i think it might have been at 12 but i harvested it because i was just like it's not worth it's not worth keeping so my plan now is to sort of ignore the trapper's place for a little bit um i did eat some bear meat before i slept the weather is quite nice i have this bear meat here left to cook i have all of this bear meat here and we have some coal so i just wanted to quickly show you guys because i don't think i showed it in the other video my carcass harvesting is now at four my cooking has literally only just got to four as well which is really good um so yeah i just need to harvest some more things i haven't seen and my archery is at two uh so average dam ar average <laughs> arrow damage is increased so yeah i kind of want to cook the rest of the bear meat here but i know that we'd have to get the fire going for quite a while and as the bear isn't here anymore and neither is the moose unfortunately I'm going to take this time and we're going to head all the way back to the, um, to oh gosh, we're going to head back to the dam, but first we're going to dip into the camp office, I'm going to grab the deer hide that is there, and we're going to make the deer hide pants, that is the goal because um, I'll have to nip into the ravine and grab the deer hide that's in there also i know it's pretty cold at the moment and all of that jazz but hopefully we can get back um while i was quartering the uh bear there was a wolf that would come around a little bit while i was like harvesting up the um bear sacks <laughs> Which is not fun, but should I have a little look over here, seeing as because I haven't done that yet. And I think, oh okay, yeah, it's just a wolf. Okay, we're gonna ignore the wolf, um, and we'll just to 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 this I'm cold. gonna get really, really cold, but honestly, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. So yeah, if we can get back to the camp office, then from the camp office. We will go to the dam. So yeah, I don't think I keep saying it. I know I keep saying it, and I'm really so appreciating cold. you guys saying in the comments as well that I'm doing okay. But I really do appreciate. But it would be nice to get that deer. I'm gonna grab this badge though, because I did use a couple of birch teas. Um, I used one when we uh were just before i started to harvest the bear because i was really cold anyway and i thought you know what let's use okay there's a wolf over there so i'm gonna try and risk it for a biscuit and i'm gonna go in this direction i think wildlife like um bad wildlife gets a little bit more And I might try and repair the hacksaw because the hacksaw is actually good for harvesting. I'm worried about obviously my tools and one of the comments said that you use the hacksaw to harvest, um, to like quarter the animals and then also use it to um, harvest the bags. Which I was doing for a bit, but a lot of the time when I was doing the micro harvesting, I was just using my hands. But yeah, we have some more cat's tails. Not an awful lot, but 
we'll get inside. I might have like an hour nap just to get my warmth back up and then head straight back out. Okay, I just made two new arrows. So, we should be okay. I'm going to stick these feathers in there. Um, then I'm actually going to keep the two pieces of metal on me because I do. So now we've got three, six, seven, seven arrows. We've got seven arrows. I'm going to put the fishing hook in here along with the fishing line because I did in the last episode as well. Like I know it, like it wasn't recommended, but I did start to fish. Um, and I think I was like fishing for like five hours or something. And honestly, it it isn't worth it <laughs> i really 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 thought that it would be worth it and i know it's like you guys were telling me that it's not worth it but i feel like it was one of those things that i had to test out for myself to just fully on know if it's not worth it or what um but yeah it's uh, not the best thing i really didn't get a lot done i got one fish in the first hour and I was like, I was happy about that because I was just like, okay, fishing, cool. But then after that, it was not great. <laughs> I fished for another like five hours and just like almost absolutely nothing. So yeah, fishing is not, um, not good. At least not at the moment. And I think I wasted some time doing it. I probably shouldn't have done it, but I did it and lesson learned probably maybe <laughs> yeah last episode was a fail i'm so glad i managed to get the bear so like off camera but i was recording just in case i had managed to get the bear on the move switch i did which i'm super happy about so and i think that if i ever want another bear i don't know how long the bears take to respawn but the trapper's place i think is my best bet for trying to get a bear because although it took me a really really long time I got one and I got one like not in good weather either so it was really really early morning and it was snowing so yeah, it wasn't the best weather but it was cool is that a wolf? I don't think that is And we've also managed to get some skills up, so yeah. Something's making me feel tired. One comment also mentioned about snares, uh, placing some snares down in the ravine. That way, we can like almost constantly be getting some bunny rabbits, which is a good idea. So, if I have any guts and some reclaimed wood, maybe I will do that. So let's go I tell you what we're gonna do I'm gonna go into the uh, dam and I'm just gonna drop off this stuff so I'm not taking it with us into the ravine because we're just gonna come back here anyway and craft it so okay so how long does it take for the deer skin pants so it's 2 2 2.5 but 2.5 for temperature but they also okay yeah, I'm gonna go I know that the temperature is like a 0.5 better for the um, shoes but we need three for the I'm gonna go for the pants it takes 12 hours okay yeah we're gonna have to eat a bunch of meat if my intestinal parasite risk goes away then what I will do is I will eat some deer meat and I will also eat uh, one piece of the wolf that is outside. I don't know if I can use... Oh, I bought this with us. I don't think I was supposed to bring this with us, but we bought it with us now, so it is here. There's also a bunch of reclaimed wood. Okay. Okay. I... I completely forgot where we were because I just had to <laughs> quickly stop recording. Um, so yeah, we were going to make the deer hide um, 
the deer hide pants. So I am really, really tired, but we still have the risk of, um, I think it's intestinal parasites. Yeah, it's a small risk, but it's a risk. So what I'm going to do is I am going to run into the ravine. Hopefully, um, My fingers feel numb. I don't know. I think I might nip into the cabin and sleep for an hour. I'm not sure. But I need to grab some food, like some proper food. I don't want to keep eating the cat's tails, but like I can. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get really cold. But I just really need to get some proper food before we go to sleep. And I know I'm like, I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm like all of the above. <laughs> I'm everything. But hopefully we'll be able to make the deer skin boots as well. Maybe if it's warm Die in the cave, like I will sleep for like an hour. But... I don't think it will be and obviously I don't just want to keep traveling while we're tired, we're cold, we're super hungry because everything's in the red which is not good. I was having a little look on like the custom game stuff and it's actually cool because you can actually select like the interloper preset and I was messing with some of the settings like trying to make things like still challenging but also a little bit easier um but i don't know i think if i want to do that i'll have to have another look at it and see what settings be change to make it still challenging but not like super easy i think i turn off like timber wolves and stuff like that but I kept on. Uh, okay, we're gonna do a birch tea. And I'll just top off with water. But yeah, I turn off timber wolves and normal wolves. And that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because um, I thought maybe like we could have the bears and the wolves spawn maybe no sorry like the bears and the moose and that spawn more but so maybe I could do something where I live off of only deer meat or something I don't know I'm trying to think of like a cool little challenge that we could do um bed let's sleep for another six hours possibly but yeah I'm trying to think of like a cool little custom challenge thing that we could do something a little bit different but nothing like super 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 hard okay so there is a wolf meat here i'm gonna eat this i know we literally just got rid of the parasite risk and now we've just got it back but it's okay because we're gonna go in here and I do have the lantern, though I don't know if we should wait because the pants are going to take a really long time. Like a really long time. Um, reclaimed wood, where did I drop all my stuff off to? Okay, so deer skin pants, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try and get an hour done of this wood. I think it'll be too dark to continue. Oh no, okay. I didn't need the lantern at all. Okay, okay. I honestly thought that we would have needed the lantern. So yeah, we're gonna start on the pants. Um, this skin pants. Let's try and do... I want to see how far four hours would take us in regards to water. 
Okay, so we could probably do maybe five hours. Okay, awesome stuff. We have some deer skin pants now. I so we still have right some now. cured guts and I still have one deer. So I would actually need to get um, just one more deer. And then we should, we'll be able to craft that. That takes 12 hours as well though. Oh my gosh. They both take 12 hours. Okay, anyway. um, So can they go? Okay, they can't go on the incest. So I'm going to put them. Okay, so we've got 12, 5, 22, and 84. Okay, 14, 5, and 22. So it doesn't really put up much. This puts up the weight and stuff. Okay, I'm best to keep that on. I'm gonna harvest up these. And I also still have parasite risk. Wait, are we leaving? Are we leaving? Yeah, so I think I may go back into the dam at the ravine area and maybe eat some more meat then come back in here and sleep. I think getting another deer would be something that is high on my list of things to do. And also we still have that we have that bear hide curing. We have the wolf pelt in there. So maybe I could just hang about and possibly try to get another um, bear because we only need two bear hides or the jacket I think it is. I think you need two bear hides for the jacket and the bedroll actually so I think as I've got a bedroll at the moment I would probably rather make the jacket um so yeah I think I'd rather make the jacket than the bedroll at this precise moment in time just so we can get some like, really warm clothes uh, but yeah I'm gonna grab some more of the deer meat that is cooked through here I'm gonna go and sleep and then possibly come back through here and maybe try and hunt some rabbits or see if there are some deer that have spawned here during the day. Um, I think I did mention about one of the comments saying about snaring the rabbits. I could make some snares as I do have some reclaimed wood and some guts left at the dam. And then we also have a bunch of guts left at the trapper's place because of the bear. I was so pleased with that bear. I honestly did not think that I would get it. it yeah, I was, I'm so bad with the bow. It's just, it makes me panic. Makes me, so <laughs> makes me panic a bunch. So cold. What is over here? Just to lay down for a bit. Oh, there's actually more guts here as well. Okie dokie. Um, so let's just eat, I think they're all about nine. Yeah, they're all about that. So I'm going to eat two pieces. Get our food really up, which will really, really help us. I don't believe, do we need a workbench to make snares? Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, we need a workbench. So you only need one guts and one reclaimed wood and it takes 30 minutes, 22 minutes for the simple toolkit. Okay, we can totally do that and then I can drop off those through here. But for the moment, I'm just going to head back into Mystery Lake and there's a possibility of us getting cabin fever, but I'm not too fussed about it, honestly. We'll just go back and sleep for like nine hours or whatnot. Until we are fully rested. I don't know where on earth that um, wolf would have gone either that we shot with the arrow. I was really annoyed that I didn't get that wolf. Um, but I do think... Let me just have a quick look. For the bear skin... Yeah, so if I could get another bear, that would be really good. Then we'd just have to like wait out inside the trapper's place or something for the bear hide to cure maybe what i could do is i could take all of the wilderness kitchen books and stuff that are in 
the thingy and then go over there but i don't know how long it takes for the bear to respawn i should really i take notes in like this but what i should do is on the day i should take notes of when um what's happened um but i don't so <laughs> I should definitely probably do that so I would have known what day we caught the bear on. So yeah, I feel like at the moment what's happening is I'm getting a really, like, bad video where stuff is just, like, not going well and I'm making really stupid mistakes and then I'll have a video. Which, like, this one I feel like is not such a bad one. Um, obviously we've got the bear. Three. Let's try and do. We'll try. How many snares would you say was a good amount of snares? Because I think I haven't. I don't want to use up all the guts because um, I think I need guts to repair like these. Oh, this could do with actually getting repaired. These could definitely get repaired. But it's the sewing kits that I'm super worried about. I think I left like three sewing kits back at Pleasant Valley Farm. Which that would also be not a bad place to get a bear. Um, but Pleasant Valley is freaking horrific for weather. Do not like. So 94, 93. Um, to repair I need guts and a rabbit pelt. So yeah. And then to repair these. Um, oh they're not damaged at the moment so I can't tell. Uh, but yeah let's um... Let's try and make some snares. Should I use the toolkit? Um, let's not use the toolkit. It's on 90%. I'm going to see how much it goes down if we use one. If we use it with one. Oh my gosh, 89. Oh, okay, it only went down a percent. Yeah, I'm just going to use my hands for this one. Three or four. I think I might make four and dot them around. Yeah, we'll make four because I do have plenty of guts back at um, the trapper's place. Okay, so we have four snares now. So the thing for us to do would be to go and obviously drop those off. <laughs> so let's go and see if we can get ourselves some rabbit or some deer. We're gonna go into the ravine. And then I think in the next episode I may possibly- I know we're hanging about in Mystery Lake for like a lot, a lot, but I don't think it's wise for me to go traveling too much just because of like not having the clothes but yeah pretty much just not having a decent set of clothes on me and I know it is pretty much almost day 50 <laughs> pretty much almost day 50 so at that point whatever the weather is like is what the weather's like there's kind of like nothing I can really do about it but luckily apparently it doesn't get any colder so we can just we would just have to really watch out for any blizzards and stuff like that. It's very cold at the moment. I think what I might do. Let's see how warm this cave is. I love the ravine. <laughs> Guys, it's the best place. <laughs> I'm just totally gonna like you live this place. I would honestly just stay here. Honestly, I think I said this as well in a video. If it wasn't for me doing the series and I was just trying to like survive as long as I could on an interloper, then 100% this is where I would probably just live out my days need to find some in place Mystery to Lake this and the I would really like to go to Coastal Highway just to check it out. Okay, are we warming up? We are warming up back here. That's fine. Let me drop off some more sticks and also the reclaimed wood. Oh, I didn't really need to bring the cloth with me, but we've got it now, so. 
It will stay here. I will also drop off this lump of coal here. And I'm gonna do the unthinkable and sleep for now. The thing that I am dreading, honestly, more than anything else is, I don't know why I just did this, um, is having to go and craft some more arrows. That's honestly the thing that I am dreading the absolute most. Um, so let's go and pop down. I think what I will do is I'm going to try and get some bunnies with the stones, but then I will put down the snares as well. So there are two areas where I know the bun buns hang out. Oh, I hear a deer as well. Oh yeah, he's over there. Okay, maybe we could get a deer. Just and then we can just micro harvest the crap out of anything that I can get. There's a dead guy down there, but it's fine. More birch as well, more birch. Never help. Never helps to help. More birch is never a bad thing. There you go, maybe that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't believe there are bunnies here at the moment. <laughs> I don't see any bunnies here, so should I bother putting a snare down? Okay, I'll put one snare here. I don't really know if there's like a precise way or placement that you're supposed to do them. Because I don't honestly use them a lot. I think I've only just started to use them in the pilgrim game I've got going just to try and get that feet up, so get this like the feet to do with the snares but yeah if i can get the deer though there you are let me see if he comes a bit closer you're gonna stop again behind this freaking tree aren't you Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Okay, cool. It lagged out and I honestly... Oh no, my arrow broke. That's fine. But we got another deer. So I'm going to quarter it. Um... Hacksaw, it's gonna take an hour. Question is, did I start a loopy little fire here? I don't think I have anything to start a fire with. So, unless what we do. Wait, is it a clear day now? Oh yeah, I don't need tinder anymore. I keep forgetting that I don't need tinder anymore either. This will not go for enough to like keep me warm, but I have a slight plan. I'm going to stick on a uh, herbal a herbal tea, Come no, on. a birch bark tea. I'm going to warm it up and then I'm going to drink it. And hopefully Fire that should literally just stop me. Um, that should just stop me from... getting super super cold yeah it's going for 27 minutes so let's quarter him it doesn't matter what we use it's gonna take an hour so cold okay what's hypothermia like it's fine uh It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good. If I can keep this going, then I will 
not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Yes, we will, dude. We just need to make it back into this cave. And then once we make it back into the cave, we'll be fine. I haven't dropped off the other snares, like, down where the crows were gawking over there. <laughs> but we will do that. So, yeah. So now we have another deer, which is good because I have another deer um, hide. And I think it was only two that we needed for the shoes. So that's really good. Now we can make the shoes. So, yeah. I think then my next port of call would literally be to try my luck at trying to get another bear but obviously also just waiting for the bear to respawn do not know how long they take and i totally should have taken a note of what actual day it was when i got the bear because then that would help <laughs> obviously figure out how long um how long it's gonna take for the bear to respawn okay we're warming up a little bit in here which I left my bedroll. I did not realise that. Okay, all that stuff is cooked. Uh, seeing as I've got this going, I'm literally just going to... Start. I'll start two fires. Um, I can always put some water on. I know, it's probably a bad idea for me to start like both fires, but it's okay. So yeah, we're gonna micro-harvest. It only takes five minutes with the hacksaw, so I'm just going to use the hacksaw. And then while that is going, we will cook this. Okay, great. 22, 22. Put a ball dry. Make the most out of these fires, right? Okay, right. I just finished harvesting up all of the deer. I literally micro harvested all of it. Um, so yeah. And that one's going for 17, this one's going for 6. Okay. I'm going to cook a, another birch tea. Um, and yeah so we have i have a bunch of meat on me at the moment uh, so let's drop off all of this micro oh wait no sorry there's one more piece of meat i need to cook 12 minutes one minute um let's cook that 32 minutes that's fine Let's do another... Oh, okay, I have no more birch. I can prepare some more birch, though. So... That's only going for three minutes. Okay, yeah, so we spent quite a bit of time outdoors. This is going for eight minutes. Let's pop some more water over here, then. Maybe that'll go. But yeah, we have all of this food now. And I have some water. Let me drop a liter of it here, just in case. So I still have this much reclaimed wood and one lump of coal here. Um, let's take this torch. Let us. Oh yeah, I can make a bunch more, but my bow also. I do have another piece of maple, but it's at the trapper's place, so. I will have to go there and make another bow. Um, I don't know where else there would be some maple. So honestly, when that runs out, I have zero idea where um, where we could go to get some more maple. But yeah, let us just eat this piece. Um, should I let that boil? But yeah, it's almost night time, so oh, it's a 49%. Oh gosh. And then we have three of these, two of those, and one of them. I have two sewing kits still. I can make another arrow which is good. 
Um, let's break down this one. So yeah, I'm gonna head back into uh, Mystery Lake and I'm going to sleep. Um, I think possibly uh, we could try and get another deer to try and like do some more micro harvesting. My skills are only at this now so I have quite a way to go um, to get them up to level 5. Obviously level 5 is the best because then I can start eating the bear meat and stuff like that so for the next video i don't really know um what we should do i feel like maybe we should go to the trapper's place and hang about there for a bit and maybe possibly hope that a bear shows up but i don't know so yeah this is all the meat that we have here I do want to go over just over in that direction and put down a snare for some bunnies over there which we can do um, but yeah it's just it's waiting for another bear and obviously this is at 49% which is not great and then I think we only have about six arrows left these really need to get repaired um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I don't think that we're doing too bad. We obviously could be doing a lot better. Um, I don't think my bow would be as damaged if I didn't miss so many shots and everything like that. But yeah, and I really do like um, the, harv the quartering and the micro harvesting with the hacksaw because I do think that the hacksaw is like probably one of the easiest things to repair because I never made two of these so I obviously only need wet I need wet stones to keep those in good condition I really should maybe find another sewing kit but it's maple I'm worried about maple yeah so I'll leave this one here gonna head back to mystery lake head into one of the little trailers and sleep for the night Hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Um, hit the like button, leave comments, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.